Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to beat the double Mabel coverage in Madden 24. I believe this is 100% the meta right now as we're seeing a lot of different types of double Mabel. And really the most prominent double Mabel that we're seeing is out of the 4-3 even 6-1 formation. Now I'm in the Jets playbook. You can find the play smash return in a lot of different playbooks. But I believe this is one of the best ways to attack double Mabel coverage consistently in Madden 24. And if you want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook, I'm going to leave a link to the Patreon. By being a Patreon member, you'll get access to all of our ebooks, all of our updates, everything for just $10. And I'll put a link to that down in the description. You can go sign up today for just 10 bucks and get access to literally everything. Uh, we have a ton of different ebooks and updates and all that stuff over there. So again, if you want to sign up, link's going to be down below. Smash return. How do we use this play to beat double Mabel coverage? Really, it's going to center around this return route, and then we're going to pair that with a couple of different things we can do with our hot routes. The first thing is we want to have our bunch to the short side of the field. That's going to be the first step in making sure that this is going to be able to consistently attack any kind of double Mabel coverage. The second step is we're going to put the solo wide receiver here on a streak, and we're going to motion him in so that he is basically inside, almost like a slot receiver. From there, we're going to put our tight end on a drag route. We're going to put our slot on a crossing route, and then we are going to block our running back. And what you're going to see here is we have essentially a two-man read. We're really looking for this deep crosser that will get over the top of a 30-yard cloud. Now, the key to getting that crosser over the top of a 30-yard cloud is to run your bunch to the short side of the field, okay? It is to have him coming from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field. So they are going to be in a position where defensively they are going to have to user the crossing route, okay? So because they're going to have to user this crossing route, then what we're able to do is we are able to hit this either return route or drag route. So what you'll see is this return route, if we have time, is going to come right over the middle and there's literally no yellow zone in the game that can really consistently stay with that all the way across the middle of the field. The beauty of the return route is it's also a route that takes enough time to develop that a lot of times your opponent is not really going to expect this type of route and they're not going to want to user this. They kind of have to. And the reason they kind of have to is due to the fact that we are putting our tight end on a drag route. So the other cool part about this is because we have this tight end drag route, the tight end drag route is always going to clear out any yellow zone on the left hand side of the field and any purple zone. So you see, see how the yellow zone kind of goes with that at the snap? That actually got, we actually got a crazy match right there by the quarter flat. Um, and I'll show you how to deal with that as well. Now, if you know for a fact that they are not sending pressure at you and you want to be able to send uh, five receiving threats out on routes, this is another great setup that I like to use. We're actually going to put our running back on an in route and then we're going to do everything else exactly the same. Okay, so this is what the setup looks like here. And what this is going to do is now when the running back on a little in route, as I get absolutely A-gapped, which is what you don't want to have happen, um, with the running back on the in route, it's going to be able to get open uh, against that curl flat. So the three rack typically is going to have to go to the crosser um, and then because that's going to be where their user is. And then if they if they even have the ability to have some somebody in an underneath yellow zone by using a tight end drag and by pairing that with the running back in route, the yellow zones will get pulled to the outside of the field, as you see, and then we're able to just check down to this little return route over the middle. This is a fantastic way uh, to be able to attack a lot of different types of double Mabel defenses. Now, the other defense that this does a really good job at consistently attacking is actually man coverage. Um, man coverage, in my opinion, is actually maybe the best way to play defense right now, and there's really not a lot of good ways to play defense. But the beauty of man coverage is, you know, sometimes you can get some crazy stops. With a play like this, that crosser will consistently beat man coverage over the top. So now we're back in that same situation where they are going to have to consistently use her the uh, crossing route. So because they have to consistently use her the crossing route, we could do, um, you know, and you could run the play like this as well if you wanted to. Uh, but what this is going to now open up is our backside return route, which is, happens to be one of the best man-beating routes in Madden 24. So this play is equipped fully with different uh, types of routes that can absolutely destroy the way that people play defense. Another little cool play uh, or another little cool route combo out of this that I did want to just quickly point out 
is if you have the hot route master ability, you can put the running back on a ghost route, which is a really underrated route. And then we're going to have the tight end now, either on a whip route or a flat or even on the corner route that he's on. The ghost route, oftentimes, when you motion that outside guy in, will suck in the cloud. Didn't do it there, unfortunately, because we're a baseline press. But if they're ever not base aligned with their cloud flats, then um, that's another option that you can have. So I'll actually unbase line here and show you kind of what I'm talking about. But if they're ever in a position where those cloud flats are um, kind of coming inside, what that's going to do is this ghost route. When, when the cloud flats are inside the numbers, the ghost route will actually pull a cloud flat. So you could run a route combo like this. And what you'll see is this ghost route. Watch the cloud flat. See how he kind of will suck to the inside, and then this is going to leave this right over the top for a big play against that defense. This is a great way to be able to beat double Mabel coverage for big gains on the sideline. And I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire uh, Jets offensive ebook, or if you just want to take your game in Madden to the next level, join the Patreon today for just $10. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below.